Audrey again at Riverside Gymnastics Academy. Today we'll be doing arms and ab workout. So let's get the burn on. Today for our workout, we're gonna be starting off with triangle push-ups, shoulder burn with weights, pike push-ups, feet elevated, upper row with weight, front rises, and that should be with weight as well. And you'll be doing that circuit three to five times. This is a great upper body workout for your kits and your handstands to really get those shoulders really strong. And then we're gonna move on to some abs. For abs, we'll be doing lay, laying down leg lifts, side planks, and handstand holds. And that will be three to five rounds. So let's get started. Let's start first with our triangle push-ups. Go ahead and get into the ground. You're gonna put your hands in a nice triangle position. So put your hands in a triangle position. Get into a nice push-up position, squeeze up tall. Go down as far as you can and back up. That's one, down as far as you can and back up. If that's too hard, you can go ahead and go on your knees. You still want good form, flat tummy, not your butt up in the air, and go down and plan back up. You're gonna do that 15 times. Next, we'll be doing shoulder burns. If you don't have weights at home, that's okay. You can use cans of soup or fill up a couple water bottles with water. Campbell soup is the best soup though. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so go ahead and let's go ahead and pick up our weights. You're gonna get your weight. Look at that truck you're going to get your arms up at 90 degrees. You want to have your hands go down to about shoulder width apart, or shoulder width, shoulder height, and back up. There's one, two, and three. You're going to do that 20 times. Next, we're going to move on to our elevated pike push-ups. You can either use a back of a couch or go outside and use a step or a step or stairs inside. Please don't use a chair for safety reasons so you don't fall. So let's go ahead and get on to our uh, elevated pike push-ups. You're gonna put your feet up on top. Remember, your head's gonna go slightly in front of your hands. So get your head down and back up. Remember, you don't wanna flop your head down because you could give yourself a headache. You're gonna do that 15 times. Next, we'll be moving on to our upright row. Again, get your cans of soup, your water bottles, anything along those lines. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up our weight. We're gonna do our upright row. You're gonna have your palms facing in. You're gonna go straight up. Keep your elbows not going like this up by your ears. Back down, there's one. And two, remember when you're standing to stay tight and don't let your back arch. You're gonna do that 20 times. Next we'll be doing Superman with arm extension. So let's go ahead and get onto our bellies. You're gonna to get into a nice Superman position, arms out straight. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Back down with your arms straight. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Remember to keep your feet squeezed and nice and tight in a good Superman position. You're gonna do that 20 times. All right, next we're gonna do our front rises. Go ahead and grab your cans of soup, your water bottles, or your weights. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up our weights. Your arms on this one are gonna stay nice and straight. So go straight out in front of you. Again, shoulder height and back down. Up, we wanna go nice and slow and controlled when we do these. No whipping the weights around, okay? We're gonna do that 15 times. You're gonna repeat the arm circuit three to five rounds. Okay, now let's move on to our abs. So we're gonna start with laying down leg lifts. So go ahead and go ahead and get on your back. You can either have your arms underneath your head, out to the side, but not underneath your bottom. So feet straight up in air, nice and tight. They're gonna go down, but they're not gonna touch the floor. Back up, there's one, down, and back up. You're gonna do that 20 times. Next, we'll be doing our side planks. We're gonna be holding that for 30 seconds. So you are going to need a stopwatch that has 30 seconds on there. Woo! Okay, so for this, let's go ahead and get on our side. You're gonna have your arms straight out. Um, have your feet stacked. Go up to your side, hold arms straight up. You really wanna stay nice and tight. Keep those hips nice and even hold that for 30 seconds each side. All right, next we'll be doing a 45 second handstand hold. So get your stopwatch out for 45 seconds. Squeeze up nice and tall and hollow. You're gonna hold it for 45 seconds. Now that you know the app cycle, you're gonna do this three to five times. Great job, everybody. That was a great workout. Remember, I post workout videos Mondays and Fridays on the Riverside's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe so you get a notification anytime a workout is posted. And look at the descriptions below to get a detailed 
of the workout. Good job, everybody.